Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the correct way to integrate advanced Steam sessions into chat group skills. Um, so the first thing you need to do is actually download the um, advanced Steam um, plugin. So uh, you need to go to this forum post, I'll link it down in the description, and download your version. I'm using uh, 4.24, so I'm going to download that one. And we can just go up here and hit download and download anyway. Now, once that's finished, you should have a folder looking a bit like this. And we can just uh, right click it um, and we're going to unzip that. Now, once that's done, we can open up the unzipped folder and we're going to copy this advanced sessions uh, folder here. So we'll just do copy. Um, and then we need to go back to our project. Um, I'm just going to right click the main folder and do um, show in Explorer and that will just get us to our main um, project folder um, and in here we need to create a new folder and we'll call it plugins like that and we'll open that up and paste in that um, advanced sessions folder that we copied just a moment ago. Next, we need to make a couple of changes in our config uh, folder. So um, go back to the main um, folder with all of our stuff in, go to config, and we want to go to uh, default engine. And then in here, we need to copy some stuff from the, um, the online uh, subsystem for Steam. This is the Epic documentation, which I'll uh, link down in the description as well. Um, and we wanna go down to here and we wanna copy this section and we'll just paste it in here. And we wanna copy um, this section here as well. So we'll paste that in as well. And we'll just save this. And we can close that out. We can close this folder now as well. Um, now we need to restart the project just to uh, activate all of that. So I'm gonna do that quickly. So now after restarting, we're back in the engine and we can make sure that our plugins installed just by uh, going to settings, plugins, you can see that I've got both the advanced team sessions and uh, advanced team sessions um, here as well. And you wanna make sure that they're both enabled. If they're not for you, just tick them on um, and restart the engine again. Um, if they're not here, you may have used the wrong files for Steam advanced sessions or um, you might not have put them in the right place. So double check that. But now we're ready to actually um, add the uh, Steam code into our um, chat group skills. So we're gonna search for um, state. And we're gonna go to the CGG player state component. We'll just open that. And in here, you wanna go to the event graph. Now, um, here is where we set our player ID and our player display name. Now, by default, we just get um, how many players are in the game and assign the player a number depending on how many there are. Um, this because we don't have a subsystem, so we don't have a username or um, display name to uh, grab from. But we're going to disconnect this, but don't delete these, just move them down here for now, and I'll explain why in a minute. But um, to get our Steam um, ID and our Steam display name, we're going to do get owner, and this will return our player state. So we want to cast to player state. And from here, we need to drag out and we want to do uh, get ID and then it's get unique ID from player state. And from that, we'll just drag out and do um, to string. And this gives us our unique Steam ID. And that's something that never changes for your Steam account. Um, and we use that for like guilds and groups. Um, so if the player changes their username, they don't suddenly, they're not in a group or a guild. Um, so we wanna set that to our player ID and we'll connect this up to his server. We'll connect this end up to our change player ID. Now we need, uh, I'll move this along a little bit so we've got some space. We also need our Steam username. So to get that, drag out from unique net ID and do get persona, and we want get Steam persona name. And this is our uh, display name from Steam. So it's your actual uh, name that everyone sees on your friend list. We just plug that into change player display name like that. So once you're done, it should look like this. Um, and now uh, we will be using our Steam username and Steam ID. Now, something to keep in mind is this will not work when you're playing in um, the engine. So if I show you, if we go to um, selected viewport, you can see that my username's not there. Um, and that's because Steam doesn't work when you're playing in editor. Um, 
the only way you can test it. If you're not using 4.26, um, because there's a bug in that engine version and this doesn't work um, for it, but if you're using any other engine version, you can go to standalone game and hit that. You wanna save selected blueprint. You must have Steam open before you um, launch this, by the way, just in the background. Um, otherwise, it won't pick up your Steam. Um, but you can see that it's picking up my Steam name. I can open up my uh, Steam overlay um, and we can see it's all working. Um, if you are using 4.26, um, you have to package the game to test this and I will show you how to package um, the game in a minute. But when uh, you're working in the engine and you're you know, testing in viewport, um, I would recommend that you leave these nodes connected up to our player ID and player display name because you may want to test the social system um, and use it while you're sort of um, testing in engine and the Steam stuff just won't work. Um, so when you're testing an engine, I recommend using these nodes. And then when you go out to um, package your game and you want to use your Steam information, all you need to do is reconnect up to these uh, nodes and you're okay to package and test your game out. So before we package our game, um, there is something we need to do and that's uh, we need to add a C++ class to our project. So to do that, I'm just going to go into our chat group skills folder and in here, we're going to go to file and we want to do create new C++ class. We'll just leave it as none, so we'll click next. We'll leave all of this as uh, default. Do create class. This might take a little while. Um, just leave it, let it do its thing, and I'll uh, let you know when we can actually um, carry on. So now it's opened up our uh, Visual Studio. It's just gonna do a few things. We'll just leave it for a moment so it can uh, create the class and everything. Um, we don't have to wait for this passing file solution because um, that will take a long time. So what we can do is we can just close this out um, and that's all fine. Now, um, I recommend saving all and um, restarting the project after doing that. So I'm just gonna do that now. So now I'm back in the project and we're ready to package. So we can just package the normal way. I'm gonna package the 64 bit. Um, I'll just package this to my desktop. So I'll do select and we'll just let it uh, package. It might take a little bit longer than it would usually because it has to compile the uh, plugin, but we'll leave it and let it do its thing. So mine's just finished packaging and uh, I can open that up now. Um, let me just find the files. So I'll run the exe. And you can see that I'm now in a packaged game. My uh, Steam overlays just popped up down there. We've got our Steam name. We can open and close our Steam overlay and everything should be working. So that's pretty much everything. Um, again, just remember that if you've got your Steam nodes plugged in and you play an editor, it will not work. You must um, either package or use the simulate, um, or sorry, standalone option. Um, so again, when you're just testing in the editor, um, I strongly recommend you just use these nodes down here like that so we can you know, continue testing things and using the social system uh, while we're testing. So that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, guys.